All right, today I'm going to be adjusting the linkage to the gas pedal on the on this Predator 212cc engine that I have on my go-kart. And I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it or how I'm doing it at least. So I'm gonna start by taking this little plastic covering off of the carburetor. So you wanna take the air filter out and then it's two 10 millimeter bolts down here and then I think it should just come off oh well you have to undo some hoses too but uh, I'm gonna take this off and then I'll show you guys what it looks like all right uh, once you take the two 10 millimeter nuts off there's these two hoses that you just slip off and this one has a clamp on it that you just squeeze and take off uh, but now that gave us room to adjust the let me get this hose out of the way. Adjust the cable and take it off and stuff and put the new one on so that we can reach full throttle and so that it idles down. Because I need to adjust the idle speed of it too because it idles too high and it just keeps rolling and it doesn't actually come to a complete stop. So I'm going to take this old cable off and then get a bike brake cable from one of uh, an old from an old bike that I have laying around and then I'm going to put it back on. But uh, I'll come back once I get this cable off. So I just want to show you how the cable was set up. It was the end of the cable was screwed into this which you can't see this little uh, nut and screw or yeah, whatever and then the cable was being held down by this And it worked pretty good uh, I added a screw here or not a screw I added a spring there so that uh, Once the gas pedal was pressed down It would retract and it wouldn't stay at full throttle uh, But the cable it goes up here and then it goes down <clears throat> and then it goes to the gas pedal uh, and the gas pedal is up there and it's a <clears throat> just a steel rod that comes down and then it has a spring so that the pedal bounces back up but yeah I'm gonna take this apart and then get a new cable and try to put it together as you can see I have the new cable in I have the cable in under this bracket and then I have the wire into this nut and screw. So now I'm just going to run the cable down and attach the cable into here and then the wire into that part right there. And I will let you guys see it when I'm done. All right, I routed the cable down and it's all in there. I just have to tighten up the bolt so that that cable doesn't come loose. And then I'm going to take this cable and zip tie it along the uh, the frame so it doesn't hang weird or look stupid or stick out. So I'll do that and then I'll come back. All right, so I just finished everything up and I put everything back together. You can see the new cable there. It goes down, it's zip tied there. There I had to put two of these black coverings on just so the cable wouldn't get rusted and I used a little electrical tape and then a little piece of metal to hold the joint together so it won't come apart and I zip tied it all the way down it goes up it goes into this little thing kind of like the thing on your brakes to tighten it or loosen it I don't really know and then it goes and then it's tightened into that bolt so yeah and then I put this back together and then all the hoses I had a, this hose is cracked so I just put a little tape on there. I'm not really sure if it's supposed to, uh, obviously it's not supposed to be cracked and I should probably just get a new hose, but for now it's fine. So yep, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Um, thinking about starting a channel on this. Or obviously I have a channel now, but posting more videos about 
uh, doing stuff in the garage and stuff like that. So if you guys like it, uh, let me know, and I will see you in the next video.